Yes, my name is uh, Jean-Marie Nziza. Yes, we um, originally are from Burundi, um, a country located in Central Africa, uh, sharing uh, borders with Rwanda, Tanzania and, uh, and Congo. And we play Burundi drumming, which is um, a very special and peculiar drumming played only in Burundi by Burundi people. So for us it's a massive pleasure to be here tonight, to, be, to share this part of uh, African culture, very rich African culture. And uh, we are here in the celebration of Black History Month, and it's a massive privilege and honour to be here today. Uh, my name is Simon Campbell Scalling, and uh, I've been organising this day today, really, which we're doing uh, for Black History Month 2012, and it's very much linked with this this new gallery that we've got at Bagshaw Museum, which is our African gallery, which is showcasing a lot of exhibits um, uh, that were collected many, many years ago from Africa that have never been really seen before by the public. The activities we've laid on today, we've laid on some activities that are inspired by some of the objects on display here. So for example, children are making their own sort of interpretations of these small dancing shields, which you can see in the case behind me. Um, which are used uh, right up to now actually in, in South Africa and Zimbabwe I think uh, which are used as part of sort of dance within Ndebele people group um, and also again they're making masks we've got some masks on display here as part of our again this section, section behind me uh, which is to do with dance and celebration so again they're, they're making things inspired by them uh, but obviously the, the children so they're, they're, you know, it's a simplified version you might say and also the beadwork, that they're also making beadwork downstairs, um, braces and such like, which is inspired by, by our, our fantastic collection actually of African beadwork. We've also, we're very lucky as well today in that we've got the um, uh, Burundi drummers appearing, who are all Burundian um, expatriates, who for various reasons have come to this country. And they're a big troop, uh, they're very well, very recognised in their field. There's about 18 of them in Tokyo, but we've got a much smaller number today. Uh, because we've got a smaller space and they're going to be performing um, today. This, uh, this exhibition, uh, in many ways, is very important for many reasons, I think. For one thing, uh, it reflects a whole imperial legacy, um, which, you know, it's something that we shouldn't shy away from. It shows the fact that people did collect a lot of things from all over the world many years back and brought back. Um, also, it's important because it, it, it reflects a culture that's not, a lot of the African culture has not been shown before in our museum so it's, it's important that we, we reflect all the cultures that are present in Kirkleet. Um and I think for, for wider community it's good because really museums are always intended to give people a chance to see things that they wouldn't normally see in their everyday life so not just like Africans as well but for example, in our museums we've got things from China and Japan and Tibet and Nepal and Mexico and places like that and it's important it gives people a chance to see things that they'd never normally see you know in their everyday life. My name is Rachel Bentley and I'm Museum Officer for Bagshaw Museum which means that I'm in charge of the activities that take place here and I also look after the collections that are here. We have a number of uh, different collections on display at Bagshaw. We have the local history galleries which are downstairs which obviously look at the development of Batley um, throughout from sort of the Middle Ages throughout uh, different periods until sort of right up to date really and then upstairs we have uh, the world cultures collections on display. So we have galleries that are dedicated to South Asia and also to Africa and um, a gallery which looks at the sort of decorative arts of Japan and the Far East. The work that the students did on the gallery was was really really good and the work that they did with um, two members of the African community from Kirklees um, actually exceeded everybody's expectations and so is actually going to be a permanent gallery. They'll, we'll be able to say now that we've, you know, we've, we're looking at uh, certain aspects of, of African culture which are linked to our historic collections. Um, so we'll be making links with the events that we hold like we've got today. Um, this is just the start of many really. Further marketing will be to promote it to community groups and also to um, school groups because we have, a very, we have a very vibrant education service at, at Bagshaw which not only looks at local history but looks at world cultures and also identity and also local history. World cultures we mean looking at the lives and the pastimes and the the motivations of people from all around the world and obviously as 
um, time has gone by, many different people have moved to Kirklees, to the different towns within Kirklees, and they've brought their heritage and their culture with them. We have historic collections that come from all around the world that actually we can make links with those people who've moved into Kirklees and are now part of Kirklees life and culture. The significance of Bagshaw is that it, become, it can be a focal point for people of all different cultures to come here to learn about each other and to see that we are all very similar, we all have similar motivations, similar pastimes, similar ways of life and that we can celebrate that similarity but also recognise the diversity of the different people who live here, celebrate that but also learn about each other and break down barriers. For, for us, um, as an individual and as a community, it's very important because it's, um, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a, an opportunity to share what we have and what is unique. And uh, I think bringing all, together all these differences and diversity is what makes this place today what it is and great as it is today. So, and um, the blanket remove uh, is, is, is very important because it's an opportunity to showcase this diversity. It's an opportunity to showcase the contribution of African to uh, the, the, the culture of, of, of England. And that's what it is today. And uh, today uh, we are here uh, in this uh, um, in, in celebration this month. And we hope to be there every, every single year. And to add on that, um, if I can uh, just uh, say that, um, our drumming uh, helps us and help our children to keep our identity. Yes, we are here, we need to integrate with the uh, English people, but we can't forget that we are from Africa, we are, Buru we are from Burundi, we've got our own culture, and also still our roots are there, and uh, also we need to, I mean, to be ourselves. Thank you very much. Thank you.